What's up guys? Okay, something made a star disappear for 200 days and then just suddenly reappear again. This has never happened before. We have never seen something like this happen and the event was very symmetrical. I'm gonna try to demonstrate this with my phone being the star and a rock that I found while I was hiking this morning. Here is the rock. I mean, it's not perfectly symmetrical. It was kind of a, whatever, you can see it. And imagine this is the, this is the star. So what happened was this. Oh, shit. Or better, better kind of done. It, it's, it's, it's hard to do this. More like this. It just went across it. which means whatever crossed it was huge, like bigger than the star itself. Due to the fact that it completely eclipsed it, it would have to be bigger than the star from our vantage point. And if something was that big, then how did it not disturb, create gravitational lensing, all sorts of stuff like that. So let's jump into this script. I did a live stream about this for an hour last night. You're welcome to check that out. How could a star much bigger than our sun completely vanish from sight for 200 days and what could have caused such a rare event? What could be so large and perfectly positioned that it blocked nearly all of the light from the star without affecting any of the stars around it? And why did it happen just once, never to be seen again? We've been monitoring the star for like 20 years. We've never seen this happen. And we've seen billions of stars in the, like when we look around, we don't see stuff like this happen. This is the mystery of the star VVV WIT08. The star is located 125,000 light years away from us and is near the center of the Milky Way galaxy. And one day, astronomers noticed something strange. The star's brightness dropped by 97% for nearly 200 days and was almost completely hidden. Whatever passed in front of this giant star blocked it almost entirely and did so smoothly without any irregularity. This was not just a small object or a planet. So what could it have been? We know it wasn't a planet like Jupiter. Even a planet that large would only block a small fraction of a star's light. But here's what makes this case even stranger. The pattern of light, how the star dimmed and brightened again was smooth. This tells us that whatever passed in front of the star was large and uniform in shape. The object seemed to be opaque, meaning no light in any wavelength passed through it, and it appeared symmetrical, either like a disk or like a, an oblong shape. It completely blocked the star's light for months without, without any flickering or wobbling, so it wasn't any sort of like intrinsic effects from the star modulating, and that's not all. None of the stars nearby were affected, and they weren't that far away either. This mysterious object passed only in front of VWIT08 and nowhere else. There was no evidence of gravitational effects or distortion, which means this object was massive, but somehow didn't disturb its surroundings. And this leads to a big question. What the F was it? <laughs> One theory suggests it could have been a circumstellar disk, which is a large ring of dust and, dust and gas that sometimes surrounds stars. If a disk like this were orbiting a companion star next to VVV WIT08, it might have been responsible for the eclipse. But that was, in my opinion, in the paper, this is a pretty shoddy explanation. It's almost like the researchers, what they do is they go through, they go through the paper and they just are like, oh, it could be this, it could be this, it could be this, it could be this, it could be this. And Usually in the end, they always go, that doesn't work for this reason. And as I'm about to read, uh, but even this theory has issues. How could something so enormous hide for so long and then disappear never to be seen again? And why was it able to block out the star so perfectly? The disk would have to be huge, over 0.25 AU in size. To put that in perspective, one AU, which is an astronomical unit, is the distance from the Earth to the Sun, about 93 million miles. This object would have to be at least a quarter of that size, and yet it remains completely invisible after the event. So how could something so large cover up a star for 200 days and then never be observed again and not bother anything else? We've never seen anything like this before. Usually large objects in space exert gravity and pull on other stars or planets around them or create some sort of detectable gravitational disturbances. Yet this object didn't cause any detectable gravitational disturbances. It was almost too perfect, as if it aligned in just the right way to block 
out the star like a giant smooth shield. The astronomers from the paper were puzzled. After reviewing nearly 20 possibilities, they eventually had to admit they couldn't identify the object. As they themselves concluded the duration, depth, and relative achromaticity, which means like blocking all wavelengths of light, of the dip marks us out as an exceptionally unusual event whose secret has still not been fully revealed. So what was it? Could it have been a massive unseen structure moving through space, a new kind of object we haven't discovered? Or is there something even stranger at work, something beyond our understanding, like Aliens. The mystery of VVV WIT08 remains unsolved. Could this be a sign of something much bigger, something waiting to be discovered in the vastness of our galaxy? Who knows?